So a few days back, we talked about Blender little projects to look out for in 2023, and part of those projects include the implementation of Metal and Vulkan for Blender, which will in turn replace the OpenGL. And within the time we made the announcement, we also mentioned the fact that Blender 3.4 now ships with Metal as part of the GPU options for cycle rendering. And with the brand new introduction of the Blender Metal Viewport GPU backend support for Mac OS, this now brings it full cycle, allowing Mac users to take full advantage of Metal when working with Blender. And from the blog post, we have an interesting interesting result when we compare the performances between OpenGL and Metal. Although it is worth mentioning that about two years ago, Apple joined the Blender Development Fund and they also helped in seeding hardware to Blender developers. And at the same time, they've empowered few of their own developers to contribute directly to Blender's open source code, bringing a much more better performance when it comes to working with Blender on Mac OS. They started with Metal for Cycles and then gradually they moved on to Metal as a GPU backend for EV and the UI system with the simple goal of providing the best experience on Apple hardware. And of course, if you're an Apple user and you would like to try this, currently there is actually a 3.5 alpha build that allows you to take advantage of this. So once you open up Blender, all you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and go to where you find systems and right there you're going to notice that we have the GPU backend. Currently this is set to OpenGL and you need to click on the drop down and switch this to Metal. This will require you to restart Blender and once you restart Blender, you now have Metal active. Now one of the cool things that you would notice if you proceed to load demo file like the tree creature file that we have right here you would notice that we have some interesting playback so currently if you're comparing the both of them in terms of the tree creature playback we're getting something that is similar to what we have on the blog so if you're running these on the metal gpu back end you're going to have a better frame rate playback compared to when you're playing this with the opengl and if we proceed to load the forest scene, set this up properly, and then press the playback, you would notice with OpenGL, we're getting 17 frames per second during intensive playback, and things just simply get better when there are less active effects and less active things happening on screen. The same can be said for Metal GPU backend. The only difference is with Metal GPU, you're getting in between 22, 23, all the way to 26 frames per second, and it also gets better when there are less active moving parts, you know, in terms of effects and also camera movement. Now everything seems to be looking very very promising, frame rates are playing better with the Metal GPU backend as opposed to what you get with the OpenGL. But I did find out that if you choose to play the AMI scene, this seems to be doing 9.5 and it's actually doing 9.5 across the two of them so whether you're playing these on metal for some reason it's struggling between 9 and 9.5 and it's just fair to say that the piece which i'm testing this with is the m1 pro and the folks at blender foundation actually tested theirs with the m1 max so maybe this is where you know there is going to be a bit of performance issue but for the ami scene specifically i didn't actually see any significant difference or any difference to be honest and going back to the blog, you would notice that within the benchmark, there are lots of performance changes. We can tell that the Metal GPU backend is bringing a better performance compared to what we have with OpenGL. Additionally, there are ongoing works that are also happening. Besides bug fixing, a few patches to improve support of AMD and Intel graphic devices are expected to be merged. And next to that, the main target is to introduce support for the upcoming real-time compositor which we've talked about on the channel previously and for sure this was also listed as one of the targets or projects to actually keep an eye on for 2023 from the folks at blender foundation so hopefully this is going to be coming with blender 3.5 and we would definitely be happy to see what this will bring to the table and for those who like to take a look at this probably you like to play with it test it see what and what you can do with it then links to this is going to be in the description so do well to check it out and for those who couldn't catch up with some of the blender videos that we've made previously links to this is also going to be in the description and also on the end notes tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend and until i see you guys in the next one peace